Hi everyone, welcome to VRC with Gaurav. In this video, we are going to take a look at RC passage number 13 from the book RC 99 by Aristotle Prep. Okay? As usual, I recommend that you pause the video here, read the entire passage, then use the timestamp that I put in the description box to go to the questions, jot down the answers, then come back to this point to check the explanation and also check whether your answers are right or not. Okay? Uh, always a good idea to time your performance, especially in such heavy duty science based passages. Always a very good idea to keep a track, try to maintain a record. And now, assuming that you have solved it completely, let's start with the explanation. Okay. Now, coming to the passage and its content, <coughs> frankly speaking, <coughs> sorry, uh, the narrative, the content of the RC passage reminded me a little bit of uh, Christopher Nolan movies. Okay. Uh, most most remarkably, the movie which won so many Oscars uh, just now when I'm making this video, uh, the movie Oppenheimer. Okay, why so? What's the relation between the two? Because the movie as well as this RC passage assumes that the reader, the viewer, already knows at least the basics of the topic being discussed. Just like the movie Oppenheimer assumes that okay, boss, you must know World War Two came, World War Two me, which country was fighting against which. US ka dushman kon tha, why was atom bombing made and what nuclear fission is blah 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 blah. It doesn't give you those uh, spoon feeding wala information right. So same thing in this passage, hardly any background information which is very crucial to understand to know what the hell is happening. Ye kuch bhi explain nahi kiya. It assumes that you know the very fair very basic detail which any decent let us say science graduate or even someone who has studied school level science should know about it. Okay. Now, I honestly don't know whether you can recall your 10th ka science, whether you can recall some basic stuff that we studied way back in school science. So, I have taken the liberty to do a little bit of background explanation to you so that when we go to the content of it, you bouncer na okay. So, please stay tuned and to be very honest, a confession from my end. I first of all I decided when I read the passage I thought of even skipping this explanation completely. I thought ki nahi mujhe ye video nahi banana. It has given me a lot of uncomfortable information. I detest bio. I was no good at it during my school days and look where destiny has brought me that I have to make an explanation focused on bio. Okay. Alright. So such is life. Okay. Can't do anything. Let's go ahead. I hope that uh, you'll be able to understand what's going on. Okay. Coming from a true hardcore mech engineer. Okay. Chalo. So, uh, the idea that is behind going behind the scenes is this thing. Deko, do pragar ke uh, reproduction processes hote. Uh, one is asexual and one is sexual reproduction. That happens in case of animals as well as plants. What is the key feature of sexual reproduction? It is that the male and the female parts need to come together to give birth or to regenerate or to give birth to the next generation of the same species okay so this this is the fundamental building block of this narrative that the male part and the female parts need to come together okay so same thing usko plants mein jab hota hai, we call that process as pollination what exactly happens is that as you can see that uh, in any given flower or let us say actually you can't generalize for every flower but in a flower what you will have is you will have some parts which are male which is called as the anther, okay? It can get a bit technical. Please pay fine attention. Male part is called as anther, and the female part is called as the stigma. Okay. Now, what is what is special about anther? So, this flower it will have some fine grains which are known as pollen grains. Okay. What do these pollen grains need to happen to this? Is that the male part, the male part, the anther has these pollen grains and these pollen grains need to travel from the male body part of the flower to the female part of maybe some other flower okay maybe on the same plant maybe of a different plant case varies from plant to plant but yes effectively something from the male needs to transfer to the female in order to create the next generation now in case of plant what is meant by next generation creation of a seed and of course around it a fruit which obviously gives birth to has the potential to give birth to the next plant okay so this is the fundamental building block here and 
फ्रॉम दिस पिक्चर विच गिव द एक्सप्लेनेशन यहां पर ये पॉलिनेशन कर कौन रहा है जाने अनजाने में दिस दिस हनी बी विच यू कैन सी वॉट हैपनिंग इयर इज दैट हनी बी सिट्स ऑन द फ्लॉर टू सक द नेक्टर विच इज एसेंशियली इट्स फूड इन द प्रोसेस वॉट हैपन्स इज द पोलन ग्रेन विच आर प्रिटी स्टिकी इन नेचर दे स्टिक टू द इंसेक्ट का बॉडी देन द इंसेक्ट गोज फ्लाइंग ऑफ टू सम अदर फ्लॉर ऑफ द सेम स्पीसीज वहां पर दिस पोलन ग्रेन विल गेट ट्रांसफर टू द फीमेल पार्ट वेर माई लेजर इज मूविंग दिस पार्ट फीमेल पार्ट विच इज कॉल्ड एज अ स्टिक पार्ट ठीक है सो वेन द पोलन ग्रेन का जर्नी फ्रॉम मेल पार्ट गोज टू द फीमेल पार्ट फर्टिलाइजेशन हैपन्स एंड दिस प्रोसेस दिस पोलन ग्रेन गोइंग फ्रॉम द मेल पार्ट टू द फीमेल पार्ट दिस इज कॉल्ड एज पॉलिनेशन एंड इफ द पॉलिनेशन इज सक्सेसफुल देन वी हैव द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड सो ऑन सो फोर दैट इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट ठीक है ना यू माइट भी वंडरिंग की हम ये क्या सीख रहे हैं क्या 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 चल रहा है ये ओके तो द फोकस ऑफ दिस पैसेज इज वॉट टेक्निकली अ लॉट ऑफ प्लांट डू दिस दैट दे टेक द हेल्प ऑफ दिस इंसेक्ट टू डू दिस पॉलिनेशन फॉर दिम बट दिस डज नॉट होल्ड ट्रू फॉर अ लॉट ऑफ अदर प्लांट्स ऑल्सो मीनिंग दे डू नॉट टेक द हेल्प ऑफ इंसेक्ट टू कैरी आउट पॉलिनेशन तो हाउ आर दे गोइंग टू डू इट दे आर गोइंग टू डू इट थ्रू अ बायोटिक वेज लेट मी राइट इट डाउन फॉर यू जब ये इस प्रकार के लाइव एजेंट्स लाइक इंसेक्ट बर्ड्स अनिबीज दे दे आर यूज दे आर यूटिलाइज फॉर पॉलिनेशन दिस इज कॉल्ड एज बायोटिक पॉलिनेशन एंड द पैसेज सीक्स टू टॉक अबाउट दो प्लांट और दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ पॉलिनेशन विच डज नॉट यूज दिज एनिमल्स ठीक है एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड एज अ बायोटिक पॉलिनेशन तो हाउ डज दिस पॉलिनेशन हैपन देन अगर आपको इंसेक्ट की मदद नहीं लेनी है बट द प्लांट ऑब्वियसली वॉन्ट्स की आर नहीं पॉलिनेशन तो होना है अगले जनरेशन को बर्थ भी तो देना है ओके सो दे आर गोइंग टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ वॉट दे आर गोइंग टू टेक द हेल्प ऑफ विंड एंड विंड एयर ब्लोइंग हवा विल टेक केयर ऑफ दिस पोलन ग्रेन एंड ट्रांसफर इट टू सम अदर प्लांट ठीक है एंड दैट इज वेयर द एंटायर फोकस एंटायर डिस्कशन ऑफ द पैसेज इज है अराउंड विंड पॉलिनेशन एंड द प्लांट विच रिलाय ऑन विंड पॉलिनेशन फॉर द सर्वाइवल फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन प्रोसेस ठीक है so i hope that you have gotten a fair idea of what the context of the passage theek hai i have given this explanation in case you are someone who has completely forgotten these basics of uh, science that we may have studied in standard 8 9 or even 10 theek hai so i hope that you have been able to recall what's happening over here once again i am emphasizing jo picture mein aap dekh rahe ho that is called as biotic pollination the passage does not talk about it the passage is talking about kya a biotic pollination when pollination happens without the carrier agents like honey bees or birds okay and one primary example of a biotic pollination is wind wind pollination ke upar focused hai okay so with this in mind let's go to the content of the passage now okay uh, straight away i would like to uh, make a very honest confession ki paraphrasing in this rc passage is not an easy task very tough very tough way too much information has been uploaded in front of the reader if you are someone who has completely forgotten science ke basics to kahin na kahin this passage might feel very overwhelming to you theek hai so in that case please keep in mind chalta hai it's okay proceed step by step if the passage is a bit loaded for you maybe the questions are doable out of four you might be able to do at least two bache hue do nahi jamte hai to bhi chalta hai you have to be okay with such scenario what you should try to take care is galti na ho because when it comes to exams like cat negative marking is very punitive it can severely damage your score so passages like this are a good practice uh, examples of what needs to be done or rather what needs to be avoided ki jazbaad mein aake josh mein aake zabardasti aap wo questions ke answer mark na karo jiske bare mein aapki idea clear nahi hai theek hai all right let's begin the explanation coming to the content now okay look pollen grains humne dekha tha these are very very fine okay the first paragraph tells us ki this pollen grains need to travel from one place to another so obviously very fine grains and jitne fine rahenge jitne small rahenge size mein obviously utne far they can travel the smaller the size the farther they can travel and obviously they should be able to travel at least some distance otherwise aap socho na if the pollen grain is large and heavy what will happen 
फ्लार के बिल्कुल बगल में गिर जाएगा वेन द विंड ब्लोज वी आर डिस्कसिंग विंड पॉलिनेशन सिचुएशन तो इफ द विंड ब्लोज एंड इफ द पोलन ग्रेन इज लार्ज एंड हेवी वो फ्लार के बाजू में गिर जाएगा मे बी ऑन द ग्राउंड मे बी इन द सॉइल या फिर मे बी प्लांट के ऊपर ही और किस्सा ही खत्म डू वी वॉन्ट दैट नो थिंक फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ अ विंड पॉलिनेशन रिलायंट प्लांट ठीक है इसका एक एग्जाम्पल देता हूं मैं आप लोगों को वेरी इजिली शुरुआत एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेटेड प्लांट वुड बी फॉर ईज ऑफ डिस्कशन लेट्स टेक इट वेरी इजी एप्पल ओके एवरी वन नोज एप्पल ट्री एप्पल फ्रूट एंड विंड पॉलिनेशन रिलेटेड लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल कॉन और मेज ठीक है और लाइक वी कॉल इट मका इन हिंदी और मराठी सम पीपल इवन कॉल इट एज भुट्टा ठीक है I don't know which uh, term you are comfortable with, but corn or maize is an excellent example of wind-pollinated plant. Okay. So what's happening is that it is very desirable that when the wind blows, this corn plant would want its pollen grains to travel at least certain distance, na? तभी तो जाकर reproduction possible हो पाएगा. So in pursuit of that goal, what these plants take care is this two three thing. First of all, small pollen grain size. Okay. सेकेंडली इट शुड नॉट बी हेवी सो हेवी वेट जो होता है कोई भी प्लांट में आप देखो अ लार्ज पोर्शन ऑफ इट ऑकर्स बिकॉज ऑफ वॉटर ओके इट ऑकर्स बिकॉज ऑफ वॉटर सो वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल गिवन टू अस ओवर पियर दैट द ग्रेन ऑफ मेनी स्पीसीज क्विकली डिहाइड्रेट आफ्टर रिलीज दैट दिस पोलन ग्रेन विल बी वेरी स्मार्ट दैट द मोमेंट दे आर सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम द प्लांट द वॉटर इन दम विल इवेपोरेट क्विकली Meaning that they will now be lighter and able to travel large distance. Okay. Secondly, another thing that they have is very smart. Uh, they have some kind of fancy air cavities on their surface so that air can blow properly through them. Micro gaps, very fine gaps, and of course, when air can blow through them, they can travel. They can take care of the pollen grains to large, long distances. So, reduce the density of pollen grains. so from the first paragraph what we learn is reduce the density of pollen grains reduce the size and weight of the pollen grains very helpful when we are considering a wind pollinated plant theek okay? hai next come to the second paragraph obviously in nature there is a limit to everything theek okay? hai you cannot have a situation ki aap pollen grains small 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 or super small karte chale gaye no if you do that you run the risk of it failing what failing that if you make the particle super small if you make it very very small then obviously it's going to be very difficult for it to latch to a female flower or a female part of the plant the smaller a particle becomes the more difficult its capture theek okay? hai once again recall the figure which we studied in the previous slide kya hota hai it's not enough to release the pollen grain the pollen grain should also be able to meet the female part the stigma right so imagine karo agar ये पोलन ग्रेन इतना स्मॉल साइज हो गया ऑलमोस्ट माइक्रोस्कोपिक इन साइज दैट इट बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर द स्टिग्मा टू कैप्चर इट ओके विंड विल कीप ऑन कैरिंग इट कैरिंग इट कैरिंग इट एंड बेचारा स्टिग्मा कांट कैप्चर इट व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज अल्ट्रा लाइट एंड अल्ट्रा स्मॉल नॉट गुड ठीक है सो दैट सेम थिंग इज एम्फोसाइज इन द सेकंड पैराग्राफ ओके कि एक लिमिट है इस चीज के ऊपर में यू कैन नॉट मेक द पोलन ग्रेन आइदर वे टू स्मॉल or way too big it needs to be of optimum size that is the key word that we are looking at it in the second paragraph maybe one good word to define or to describe a pollen grain size and densities it should be optimum neither too heavy neither too light neither too uh, let's say large in size neither too small in size okay next सेकेंड पैराग्राफ के सेकेंड हाफ में ऑथर इज गिविंग सम काइंड ऑफ ट्रिवियल डिटेल सिंपली से दैट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल से कि यार प्रिमेटिव फीचर है ये फ्लार्स में इफ देर आर सम प्लांट्स और फ्लार्स विच आर स्टिल रिलायंट ऑन विंड पॉलिनेशन दिस इज सच ए घटिया थिंग वाई इज द प्लांट बिहेविंग सो स्टूपिडली इट शुड है रिलाय ऑन इंसेक्ट पॉलिनेशन राइट बट ऑथर डिबंग्स दिस मिथ ही सेज दैट नो 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 rather wind pollinated plant they have evolved relatively very recently they are not very prachin they are not super old they are rather a quite recent development and he stops the narrative just over there why or why why they would be called primitive or why the author is debunking that myth that is not clear to us so uh, in a way this is my judgment that if the author is not giving sufficient explanation of some important phenomena 
you can you know expect or you can you know uh, it would be safe to put it in a corner of your mind ki shayad iske upar question na rahe it's not that important because if it had, if it would have been so important other would have delved more and more on it theek hai anyway moving to the third paragraph narrative gradually goes up in technical detail first couple of paragraph what did we learn wind pollinated plants like corn maize they want their pollen grains to be small in size not too heavy in nature okay but yes on the other side of the spectrum they cannot be super small or super light otherwise pollination process will also fail in that case that's it theek hai and obviously this this kind of formation this wind pollination is pretty relatively new development it's not a very primitive feature that's it coming to the third paragraph what's given to us is uh, interesting interesting narrative kya hota hai ki generally uh, some people or let us say one way of looking at it is in a condescending manner towards wind pollinated plants kya hota hai ki wind pollinated plants ke taraf mein <laughs> the remaining plant community or maybe let us say the scientific community looks at these wind pollinated plants as garib e you dude you are you are wind pollinating oh you can't afford insects na isliye insects ko afford karne ke liye you know what you need you need aroma you need nectar you need beautiful petals only then the insect will come to your place right you don't have any of it that's why you're relying on wind pollinated na aha yes yes literally this is the description in the third paragraph too dramatic no this is what the paragraph has written over here that traditionally wind pollinated plants are looked at in a negative manner ki tum se इंसेक्ट अट्रैक्ट करना नहीं हुआ ना इसलिए तुम विंड के ऊपर डिपेंडेंट हो एंड बिकॉज यू गाइज आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन द विंड तो आपकी कितनी गरीबी है भाई यू आर सो वेबल आइर द विंड विल टेक ए पॉलन ग्रेन और डिपॉजिट इन द गार्बेज डम और मे बी इट माइट हेल्प यू सक्सेड इन पॉलिनेशन एनी वे बॉस आप तो बहुत गरीब हो दिस इज द व्यू पॉइंट दिस इज द एटीट्यूड टू वर्ड्स बिचारे विंड पॉलिनेटेड प्लांट्स दैट इज वॉट द थर्ड पैराग्राफ इज से सो ऑल इन ऑल let me highlight the important parts of the third paragraph which will help make this view clear mainly as a often defining it as a combination of negatives ki aapke paas mein nectar nahi aapke paas mein sundar petals nahi isliye insects tumhare paas aate nahi isliye tumse wind pollinated hi karna padta hai garib log that's that theek hai and secondly wind pollination has been traditionally viewed as dominated by random events कि भाई आप तो कितने वल्नरेबल हो हवा चली तो आपका पॉलिनेशन होगा नहीं चली तो गए काम से तो नहीं हो पाया पॉलिनेशन नहीं हो पाया रिप्रोड्यूस यू आर फेल्ड यस यस करेक्ट एंड ऑथर इवन कंसीड दैट या व्हेन यू थिंक अबाउट इट लाइक इट पोटेंशियल हाजर्ड बहुत ज्यादा है इस इस काइंड ऑफ पॉलिनेशन में द प्लांट्स आर वे टू रिलायंट ऑन आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल फैक्टर्स ठीक है तो ऑल राइट हम्बल कन्फेशन कमिंग फ्रॉम द ऑथर बट देर इज अ वेरी रैपिड change of the tables okay look how the tables turn next now ab plants like corn or maize are they stupid obviously not they have succeeded in surviving and evolving through the millennia they must be smart enough now they know that they are very vulnerable to wind ki yaar wind chalegi to hamara pollen grain release hoga release hone ke baad mein theek se bhaiya jayega female flower ke paas aur wahan pe pollination hua to fir baat aake padegi so because they know this they have adapted they have brought about certain features in themselves which are very smart very amazing what are those that is what the fourth paragraph gives you for us okay so stay tuned there are a lot of technical details coming in next pollen loss is compensated kaise to very high degree large degree pollen to ovule ratios that greatly exceed those of insect pollinated species let me give you an example if this is too technical for you so let me explain it in some simpler terms let's use a different color okay matlab apple ka aap le lo uska jo male part rahega let us say each male part has 10 pollen grains so corn and maize they know ki boss apna to life mein kafi garibi hai hum wind ke upar bahut zyada dependent hai okay hamare paas honey bee nahi aane wali honey bee bilkul successfully pollination kar degi तो एप्पल इज कॉन्फिडेंट कि यार 10 पोलन ग्रेन्स ऑल्सो ओके बॉस ठीक है जाने दो 
हनी बी के पास में टेन पोलन ग्रेन चले जाएंगे द हनी बी विल गो टू अनदर फीमेल फ्लार वहां पर हमारा पॉलिनेशन हो जाएगा समथिंग लाइक ओके नो वरीज बट कॉन एंड मीस दे नो ओहो हो दैट दैट्स नॉट ओके नो वनी बी इज गोइंग टू कम टू अस सो वट डिस गाइज डू इज बॉस हंड्रेड पोलन ग्रेन पर मेल पार्ट वॉ ओके तो फिफ्टी परसेंट लॉस भी हो गया अगर विंड पॉलिनेशन में We still have 50 pollen grains successfully going ahead and pollinating with the female flowers. Amazing. Yes, sure. Okay. So that is the meaning of this uh, sentence which I have highlighted. Okay. They have literally very high pollen grains ka ratio compared to the number of ovules. Ovules is nothing but female parts. Okay. Female flowers. आप ऐसा समझ सकते हो. Okay. Next. What is another feature? What is another difference between insect pollinated and wind pollinated? Let's go back over here. As you can see, this honey bee, this is sitting on the flower. The pollen grains get stuck to its body and then get deposited on this female stigma. Okay. So here, for what is necessary in insect pollinated plants, that the pollen grains need to be sticky, na? They should be very sticky, sticky. Tabi ja ke chipak jayega insect ki body ko and then it will transfer to some other flower. Should that be the case in wind pollinated plants? Hell no, hell no. वहाँ पर sticky नहीं चलेगा pollen grain. Rather it should be very light, very dry, very breezy. कि हवा का झोंका चला और चलो boss, चलो हमारा निकलने का time हो गया. अच्छा भाई मैं चलता हूँ. Something like that. ठीक है? So that is given in this next sentence. Let's highlight using a different color. Unlike the sticky pollen grains of insect pollinated plants, what's happening in wind pollinated plants? they are smooth and dry to avoid clumping and uh, you know not being able to travel by wind or not being able to travel by air and conversely the female flower the female part of wind pollinated plant it's going to be very awesome awesome in the sense large in size and the female part is going to be very sticky in nature ki hawa mein se udte udte pollen grain aayega and it should be able to stick to latch to the female flower na so that is happening over here given to us let me use another different color the stigma of the female we are still discussing wind pollinated okay it is huge sticky and feathery why so that it can catch any floating pollen grains okay? nature is amazing boss okay the male part of corn and maize it's going to be like boss jaldi udao jaldi udao pollen grain ko it should be light it should be breezy it should not be sticky otherwise ghar pe baitha rahega isko jaldi bhagao Conversely, the female flower is going to be like jaldi aao, jaldi aao, jaldi aao. In the sense, it's going to be large and sticky, so it can catch the pollen grain very properly. ठीक है? So, इसका बहुत अच्छा example हमें दिया है यहाँ पे. And another important detail that is given to us is that this wind pollinated plants they generally grow in massive plantations. What is meant by monoculture massive plantations? You will have मैसिव जोग्राफिकल एरिया मैसिव पीस ऑफ लैंड यहाँ पे ये केवल एक ही प्लांट इज ग्रोइंग इन ह्यूमंगस वॉल्यूम ठीक है यहाँ पर आई वुड लाइक टू गिव यू एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे जैसे दिया है पाइन फॉरेस्ट वॉट इज पाइन ट्रीज क्रिसमस ट्रीज ठीक है यू वॉच एनी वेस्टर्न मूवी और यू वॉच एनी वेस्टर्न टीवी सीरीज उसके अंदर जब वो दिखाते हैं ना कि क्रिसमस आज कम दे आर डेकोरेटिंग द क्रिसमस ट्री एंड ऑल दैट क्रिसमस ट्री इज नथिंग बट अ पाइन ट्री ओके तो दिस पाइन ट्री Uh, they grow in coniferous forest and literally entire forest will be dominated by that one or two kind of trees only hardly any diversity hardly any other variety bas ye ek hi banda pure forest mein aapko mil raha hai massive forest mein ek hi type ke aapko plants and why is that happening because these guys are dependent on wind pollination theek okay? hai so when the area will be dominated by the same kind of species only then wind pollination will succeed right कि एक तरफ के बंदे के पोलन ग्रेन जब उड़ के जाएंगे तो उसको उसी स्पीसीज का थोड़ी दूरी पे प्लांट मिल जाएगा तभी जाके होगा अदरवाइज इमेजिन अ फॉरेस्ट वेर देर लॉट ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी हैपनिंग ओके सो मे बी दिस पुअर कॉर्न और पाइन पाइन ट्री गाय इसका पोलन ग्रेन अगर उड़ भी जाता है तो बेचारा जाएगा कहा उसको तो दूसरा कॉर्न या फिर दूसरा पाइन ट्री लगेगा ना पॉलिनेशन के लिए बट नो बॉस यहाँ पे तो दस और प्रकार के ट्रीज बैठे हैं सैड लाइफ गया पोलन ग्रेन का डेट विल बी अ केस ऑफ evolutionary failure that could be a case of reproduction ka failure right so these plants have evolved in this manner ki bhai jahan hamari basti hogi fir sirf hamari hi basti hogi like that and yes it has been given to us corn fields amazing detail allow me to digress a little 
यू गो एंड टेक अ लुक एट सिंपल गूगल करो इस इमेज को कॉर्न फील्ड इन अमेरिका एंड यू विल लिटरली फाइंड मैसिव मैसिव साइज हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड थ्री हंड्रेड एकर्स ऑफ फील्ड हैविंग लिटरली नथिंग बट जस्ट दिस वन क्रॉप कॉर्न और मेज एज दे कॉल इट दैट इट ओके यहाँ पे वंस अगेन बिकॉज आई एम अज क्रिस्टावर नोलन पैन अनादर वेरी फेमस मूवी ऑफ इज इंटरस्टेलर ओके उसका एक टिटबिट बताता हूँ मैं वेरी क्रूशल सीन इन दैट मूवी एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ इट दे शो दैट द हीरो ऑफ द मूवी इज हिमसेल्फ अ फार्मर हैविंग मैसिव फार्म मैसिव फील्ड ऑफ कॉर्न और मेज ठीक है एंड दे हैव शॉर्ट अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल सीन वेरी इज रनिंग इज कार थ्रू द फील्ड क्रशिंग ऑल दिस प्लांट्स बिकॉज ऑफ इज शेयर पैशन एंड चेज ऑफ वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ठीक है तो इट इज सेट दैट क्रिस्टोवर नोलन एक्चुअली बॉट दैट मच लैंड planted itna sara of corn and maize just to shoot that one scene and after the movie got over he took all this produce of maize sold it in the market and made a handsome profit okay crazy 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 literally christopher nolan ki barabari koi nahi kar sakta okay so coming back to the story theek okay? hai so yes yahan par author is considering ki wind vector is literally useful only in large near monoculture crop हाँ ये विंड पॉलिशियन तभी सक्सीड होगा व्हेन यू हैव ओनली दिस वन गाय वन ट्री वन प्लांट विंड पॉलिनेशन डिपेंडेंट जो बहुत बड़ी एरिया में डोमिनेटेड है बस ठीक है तो अप टू दिस पार्ट फोर्थ पैराग्राफ थिंग्स आर वेरी डूएबल ओके इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स आर लिटरली ओवरलोड विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू टेक्निकल इंफॉर्मेशन लेट मी क्लियर द स्क्रीन अब इट वॉट इज इट से इन द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ पैरा नाउ I hope that you have been able to understand what we discussed till now. If you have liked the content and my explanation till now, please consider hitting the like, share, and subscribe button. Okay. Now let's get back to the discussion. What is given to us here is that itne details jo humne abhi tak dekhe fourth paragraph mein all the fancy details that we learned that is not enough. Recent research has brought more details to light. That yaha pe apne dekha na third paragraph mein where wind pollinated plants are looked at as garib. अरे तुमसे इंसेक्ट वाला नहीं हो पाया इसलिए तुम ये गरीबी वाला विंड पॉलिनेशन कर रहे हो सो दीज प्लांट्स आर नॉट एज गरीब एज यू विल थिंक दे आर वेरी स्मार्ट दे आर सुपर स्मार्ट हाउ मल्टीपल एक्सप्लेनेशन मल्टीपल एविडेंस प्रेजेंटेड बिफोर अस लेट्स हाईलाइट ओके वेरी वेरी सोफेस्टिकेटेड रिमार्केबली सोफेस्टिकेटेड वेल इवॉल्व मेकेनिज्म यू विल फाइंड इन दिस प्लांट्स क्या क्या लिखा है This sentence actually is very crucial and required to you know. बहुत ही technical language में इन्होंने ये लिखा है that part I did not like and actually there is a question which is dependent on it. This highlighted sentence what does it mean? कि in wind pollinated plants in corn or maize it's not like हवा चली और pollen grain release कर दिया. No 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 they are smart. Okay not just a hat track my friend. They will look around they will detect their environment. okay that if the environment is suitable if there are very clear signs if there are unambiguous signs ki boss environment is fit let's release a pollen grains we will have succeed uh, success in pollination only then they release the pollen grains okay that part is mentioned over here next self pollination is also prevented through very intricate mechanism now self pollination बहुत लंबा एक्सप्लेनेशन हो सकता है इसके ऊपर में इट सिंपली सेइंग कि पोलन ग्रेन ऑफ वन प्लांट फॉलिंग ऑन द फ्लावर ऑफ द सेम प्लांट ओके सो दैट इज ऑब्वियसली नॉट डिजायरेबल द पोलन ग्रेन ऑफ वन प्लांट शुड गो टू द अदर प्लांट सो दैट सक्सेसफुल पॉलिनेशन हैपेंस अगर वो वही के वही गिर गया तो इट्स नॉट अ सक्सेसफुल केस इट्स नॉट करेक्ट इट्स नॉट गुड एंड दैट इज व्हाई अ सोफिस्टिकेटेड मैकेनिज्म्स एग्जिस्ट टू प्रिवेंट सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन ठीक है लेट्स मूव अहेड नेक्स्ट हमने पैराग्राफ की शुरुआत में सॉरी पैसेज की शुरुआत में वी लुक्ड एट द फैंसी फिजिक्स ऑफ पोलन ग्रेन्स एट स्मॉल इन साइज देयर सम एयर कैविटीज अराउंड देम सो दैट दे कैन ट्रैवल फार राइट तो ये तो बात हुई पोलन ग्रेन्स की व्हाट अबाउट द रिसीवर पार्ट व्हाट अबाउट द फीमेल पार्ट विच इज रिसीविंग दिस पोलन ग्रेन्स दे आर ऑल्सो नॉट बिहाइंड दे आर ऑल्सो इवॉल्व दे आर ऑल्सो वेरी स्मार्ट हाउ they have developed their shape and actually the last paragraph is completely dedicated to it they have developed their shape and structure their morphology such that the wind flow around them is directed in a desired manner imagine a flower you see 
और फ्लार यूर लाइक एक तो अगली है या फिर ओके प्रिटी है बट डू यू एवर थिंक दैट बॉस दिस फ्लार इज ऑफ दिस शेप सो दैट इट डिक्टेट हाउ द एयर अराउंड इट इज गोइंग टू फ्लो एंड वी इंडीड हैव एक्चुअली वेरी टेक्निकल जार्गन कमिंग ओवर हियर लीवर्ड सर्फेस विंडवर्ड सर्फेस ब्ला 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 टर्ब्यूलेंस वेरी टेक्निकल लास्ट पैराग्राफ आई सिंपली गिव यू दिस्ट ऑफ इट दिस पार्ट ऑन राइट हैंड साइड दैट यू कैन सी वॉट इट मीन्स इज the female part of this plants they are also very smartly evolved to capture pollen grains effectively and that is a closing remark of the author also the aerodynamic consequences of this synergy synergy means jugalbandi mein jo kaam chal raha hai pollen grain is also evolved and the female flower is also evolved it significantly increases the pollen capture efficiency of an ovulate organ of a female flower that's it okay so let's highlight it Overall, what the narrative, what the passage is trying to tell us is, कि wind pollinated plants को आप हल्के में मत लीजिए. Do not consider wind pollinated plants as गरीब. Traditional science views them like that, but they are very sophisticated. They have evolved very smartly, and they have a host of features to ensure successful pollination. That's it. ठीक है? So let's go and take a look at the questions now. काफी लंबा explanation, right? Okay. In general, according to author of the passage, pollen grains would have greater greatest dispersal range. क्या क्या characteristic होंगे उनके अंदर? Amazing. Where do we have dispersal range related ज्ञान given to us of pollen grains? Right in the first para. कम density हो, size भी छोटा हो. Small size, less weight, and also look at this part. Quickly dehydrated after release. No water, less weight. करेक्ट स्मॉल साइज यस डिजायरेबल ड्राइनेस डेफिनेटली डिहाइड्रेट करते हैं वो खुद को लो डेंसिटी यस बिकॉज दे नीड टू ट्रेवल फार कैन नॉट बी वेरी डेंस कैन नॉट बी वेरी हैवी दे दे नीड टू हैव दिस एयर कैविटीज टू रिड्यूस द डेंसिटी ऑल थ्री फैक्टर्स आर वेरी डिजायरेबल एंड हेंस आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी बट नेचुरली व्हिच वन 1 2 एंड 3 करेक्ट ठीक है वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड वेरी वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन डेटा ओरिएंटेड डिटेल ओरिएंटेड बट ऑफ अ वेरी पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द पैसेज ओनली नॉट नॉट अ स्कैटर्ड डिटेल क्वेश्चन नॉट समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट टू थ्री फोर पैराग्राफ एक साथ सिंपल इजी एंड लेट्स गो अहेड ओके स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स लेट मी नो इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन मोर देन ग्लैड टू हेल्प यू आउट टेल देन लेट्स गो सेकेंड क्वेश्चन अमेजिंग एंड लाफेबल Laughable in the sense that this kind of question do not come in the CAT exam. क्या दिया है? तो उन बताओ भाई passage की. और options बहुत simple हैं. ठीक है? Critical means that you are criticizing something. You give the pros and cons of something, and but you focus on the cons, the drawbacks, the shortcoming of something. Is that the case? No. Rather, the author is spending a lot of time giving us explanation कि नहीं wind pollinated plants are good. They are smart. They are smartly evolved. Answer has to be. descriptive the information given to us is presented in a very objective manner no sentiments only facts theek hai laudatory matlab tareef tareef ki ja rahi hai author tareef nahi kar raha hai kahin pe theek hai although he has a bit of appreciative idea about wind pollination plants but he is no way praising them ki boss yaar corn and maize boss kya ho yaar aap no not that theek hai ह्यूमरस एंड कॉन्डिसेंडिंग ह्यूमरस का मतलब हंसी मजाक बिल्कुल नहीं हो रहा है कॉन्डिसेंडिंग मीन्स नीचे देखना नीचा दिखाना किसी को तू क्या है गरीब ओके तो ऑब्वियसली दैट इज नो वेर द टोन कॉन्डिसेंडिंग इज एक्चुअली वेरी निगेटिव वर्ड वेरी रेयर टू फाइंड अ टोन लाइक दैट ठीक है चलो लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नाउ ओके आई गेस माई वीडियो मस्ट बी राइडिंग ओवर द कॉन्टेंट आई स्टॉप माई वीडियो ओके What's the question over here? And I'll be very honest with you. I did not like this question in the sense that all the five options can be found in the passage. ठीक है? हमें क्या पूछा गया है कि what mechanisms exist in this corn, maize, wind pollinated plants to reduce pollen loss? Except, मतलब four options you are going to find correctly mentioned in the passage. कि भाई पोलन लॉस कम करना है प्लांट को तो वो क्या क्या फंडे अपनाता है क्या क्या चीजें करता है तो इट डज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंटायर फोर्थ पैराग्राफ एंड आल्सो अ लॉट ऑफ फिफ्थ पैराग्राफ इज आल्सो कंसर्न अबाउट इट वन ऑप्शन विल नॉट मेंशन दिस एंड दैट इज आंसर बट इफ यू रीड ऑल द फाइव ऑप्शंस क्लोजली 
you can find them scattered across the fourth and fifth paragraph so my verdict on this question is that you either you ignore it or you should have skipped it because this is seriously insane answer obviously is given as option d but i have no good explanation for it okay what does it say development of intricate mechanism to prevent self pollination yaar dekho self pollination ho gaya usko prevent karna chahta hai na plant if the plant wants to prevent self pollination it is a clear case example clear case example that self pollination would be harmful it would be a waste of pollen grains and that is why they have a lot of intricate features to prevent it theek hai to ye pollen loss ka tarika nahi hua prevent karne ka to aur kya hua so because of this reason i am not in agreement with option d as the answer for me all the five option fall in this category that they are all mechanism to reduce pollen loss theek hai now you might prefer to call my verdict my answer my explanation as a case of sour grapes or maybe even incompetency but i stand by my words completely theek hai once a while it is okay to come across such options and questions and it's fine i i do not worry a lot about those let's go to the next question last one technically okay okay based on pass oh my god this is a crazy 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 question not just because it uh, asks you to apply your own reasoning not simply logic but also wants you to apply a lot of knowledge to tumko pata hona chahiye what is meant by uh, taiga what is meant by coniferous forest what is meant by uh, river banks in temperate climates question is not good the question setter has made a lot of assumption ki reader ko to ye sab pata hoga zaruri nahi hai boss aur theek baat bhi nahi hai because some of these terms are literally not reasonable i'll try to give you an explanation kya pucha gaya hai it is reasonable to conclude ki wind pollinated plants aapko milenge okay but least likely kahan milega it means that you will find this wind pollinated plants in four places but not in one place now take a moment to think about it wind pollinated plants naam mein wind hai. means that these plants will be present in places which have good breeze blowing aisi jagah pe nahi honge jahan pe hawa na chal pae acche se theek hai so one by one let's walk through the options option e is actually very helpful on the windy slopes of the himalayas hawa chalne wale slopes par hai jahan hawa chalti hai wahan par very likely that wind pollinated plants can exist they can survive good so we can find them hence not the answer it falls in this category okay next d this makes a lot of assumption actually river bank ke baju mein in temperate climates now uh, you know background information deta hu main aapko on river banks and temperate climate means uh, let say central india north india type climates mein jo rivers behti hai unke river banks pe possible possible because uh, on river banks we can feel we can sense that a lot of wind blows if you live in a city or even a village jahan se koi nadi agar badi nadi agar behti ho if it passes through a city you will be able to see that in the evening there are a lot of people who prefer to walk along those river banks why because of very beautiful breeze blows around that place in the evening so if a good breeze if a good wind is blowing there so wind pollinated plants will also be present okay so option d in the same category as e and hence out c in the valleys of california kill me kill me now why because it wants you to know what exactly is meant by valleys valley is what if let us say this is a mountain and this is another mountain valley is this basically the region between two mountains the part that i am making darker and darker progressively okay valley matlab khai khai mein basa hua koi gaon so thing is that uh, shimla is actually a good example of this uh, kind of city thing is that these places are very windy very very strong breeze very strong winds can flow through these places because of the geology and geography and all right you have a lot of tall peaks so wind direction is tarike se create hoti hai that a lot of good wind blows through this places theek hai so jahan par wind hai jahan par wind pollinated plants hai and hence c is also in the same category as d and e crazy crazy okay 
So if you found this uh, question and the options unreasonable, it's completely fine. I am in your team. I am on your side. Yes, this question is not good. I am giving the explanation just for the sake of it. B. In the taiga and other northern European coniferous forest. Now, इससे घटिया इससे ज्यादा बायस ऑप्शन पॉसिबल नहीं है मैंने आपको शुरुआत में एक्सप्लेनेशन दिया था ना पाइन फॉरेस्ट पाइन ट्रीज वेर इन दिस फॉरेस्ट यू विल फाइंड लिटरली वन टाइप ऑफ प्लांट ग्रोइंग फॉर मैसिव एरिया डॉमिनेटेड कंप्लीटली कॉनिफेरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट आई वुड रिकमेंड कि आप ये टर्म को गूगल करो वेरी वेरी पेक्यूलियर काइंड ऑफ प्लांट्स विल ग्रो देर पाइन ट्री इज अ वेरी गुड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट डोंट हैव ब्रॉड लीव दे हैडल लाइक लीव and they don't have a lot of flowers they have some kind of uh, alaghi structure uh, which grow on them okay so that is called as coniferous forest and yes they are reliant on a lot of breeze blowing so effectively coniferous forest massively they are dominated by wind pollination only so yes it's a case of you know self fulfilling uh, option option b also out what are we left with answer answer is obviously answer option a why because rain forest of south america we are effectively talking about amazon rain forest very dense super dense ultra high diversity areas wahan pe hawa nahi bahegi itna easily okay how can the wind blow easily if it is a very dense forest okay kahi na kahi wind will get trapped and not be able to free uh, flow freely right so that is the reason crazy crazy okay uh, meri baat agar mante ho forget about this option दिस क्वेश्चन कंप्लीट ठीक है ऑल राइट आई होप डेट यू लाइक द एक्सप्लेनेशन प्लीज हिट द लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन आई कोच अस्पायरेंट फॉर कैट जैट एन मैट एंड स्नैप एग्जाम ऑनलाइन बैचेस ऑब्वियसली फॉर वी आर सी इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड यू कैन गेट इन टच विथ मी ऑन दिस मेल आई डी एंड दिस मोबाइल नंबर ऑफ माई आई एल मोर देन ग्लैड टू हेल्प यू आउट एंड आई एल इन्फॉर्म यू अबाउट माई बैचेस टेल देन टाडा बबाई एंड टेक